Francesca and thank you for tuning into the first ever YouTube video for Treadmill Treats. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. My name's Francesca. I'm a divorced mom of two beautiful girls. I have a professional organizing business I own and I write an inspirational blog called Treadmill Treats every day while I'm at the gym on the treadmill. I started this blog because I wanted to be able to inspire women out there that were in the same situation as me to let them know that they could change their lives if they truly wanted to. My story is um, I overcame a lot of obstacles as a child. Um, in, in my teenage years, I went through drug and alcohol abuse. I lost a lot of people that I loved uh, too, way too young. I dealt with a lot of pain and hurt in my life. And then I married a verbally abusive man. I lived in this hell for 24 years. I never thought that I can get out. I never thought that I could ever do anything better than where I was at. I was afraid. I was fear gripped my life. I was afraid of change. I was afraid of the unknown. I was afraid he was going to take my girls away. I was afraid I couldn't take care of myself. And I know there's so many other women out there that were just like me, that fear owned your life. And so I started to write this blog when I started to realize who I was again and learned to start to not fear change, to just let change happen, be, have faith and just know that things are going to be all right and believe that things are going to be all right so that I could let other women know that there is hope out there, that that they could read my blog and see my trials and my tribulations and my ups and my downs and my falling on my face and my joys and my tears and let them know, hey, you know, she can do it, I can do it. And just be real about my story and let you know everything. I always say in my blog, I'm not Willy Wonka. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. This is real, the good, the bad, and the really ugly sometimes. But I want you to know that because life isn't all about roses. It's not going to be sunny all the time. It's not, you know, you're going to get into great points in your life and then the rug will get pulled out from under you yet again. But it's how you deal with that and it's how you face what's going on in your life that is the true test of who you are. Do you, you know, say, oh, poor me, nothing's going to change, my life is always going to be like this, it's just the way it is, or do you say, you know what, stuff happens, and you know, I'm going to get up, I'm going to brush myself off, and I'm going to do it again. It's all in your attitude. The change is in you. You make the change. You are the change and that you want to see in yourself. And so, every day I try to write about what's going on in my life, in the world, and how I feel about working out, about being a mother, about being a mother of teenagers, about, uh, you know, men, which I have no luck with. I, I'm just real. I'm honest, and I just let you know that, you know, everybody could relate to something that I'm talking about because it's real life, and I'm brutally honest because I don't want to live that lie anymore. I lived a lie of, you know, this is what my life should be, or this is what my ex wanted my life to look like to the outside world, and, you know, to change who I was to please another person. And I refuse to do that anymore. I know who I am. I like who I am. I like, you know, where I'm going. I love my life. I'm full of peace and joy. I never in a million years thought I could ever be at this place, and I am. So I know that it's possible to be at the bottom, to hit rock bottom, to think that you don't even want to go on one more day because your life sucks that much. I've been there. I've been picking up dirty clothes off the floor thinking, is this what my life is about? You know, this is, this is, this is it? Is this really it? And to be able to be at that place, at rock bottom, where you're on your knees and you're just, I have nothing left. To be able to be in this place of peace and joy that if this is my house, my house, I never imagined that I would actually be able to get a house of my own, let alone take care of myself. And so all of this is possible because I never gave up hope. I always 
held on to the hope and the dreams that I would be able to do this one day. I had a vision board I would look at every day while I was crying and doing laundry and thinking, you know, I hate my life, but I would look at this vision board going, this is where I want to go. This is what I want my house to look like when I leave here. This is how I want to feel. This is the person I want to be. And every day I looked at that and I dreamt about it and I envisioned it and I believed I was there. I was living it as if it was real. And so that came true. That reality became my reality. If you can dream it, you can be it, you can do it. So that's my message um, today and, and every day that you, you tune in. It's to motivate you, inspire you, to let you know you're not alone, to let you know anything is possible if you truly believe, if you have the faith and you, and you work hard at it, you can do it. You can truly do it. There is not one of you out there that could not do what I did because I'm no better than you. I'm no special, more special than anybody. I'm just me and I wanted it that bad. I wanted a change and I wanted to live this life I'm living now. So I hope you will join me in other YouTube videos that I'll be doing. Also on my website, www.treadmilltreats.com. I will be putting up my link to my new book, uh, The Blessings in Disguise, which is a book about my life story and the trials and tribulations that I've been through. It's a very powerful, raw book, but it's there hopefully to give everybody hope that, you know, you can change. So thank you again for tuning in to Treadmill Treats, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Remember, the change is up to you. You can be the change you want to see. Thank you.